uh, harassing the private sector involved. Uh, in the last invest inquiry regarding the town of Mexico, the investor, the Chinese, uh, the Chinese businessman who was called here and who was given a all contempt, uh, I don't know, contempt uh, judgments and things like that. Well, his investor ran away already. In other words, his investor doesn't want to continue investing. Uh, bakit po kayo naimbitahan? Ano ba ang partisipasyon ninyo dito sa uh, itong kontrata ng uh, tulay? Uh, I'm Engineer Benigno Bonos, the back chairman of LG San Simon. Uh, ang participation po namin dito is to shed light on the issue of the bridge. Okay, Actually, tama. Correct. Uh, mabuti dito ka. Uh, I would like to, to direct my questions to you. A project to construct a bridge in the amount of uh, 27 million pesos was awarded to Ping An Construction and Trading uh, by the former mayor, Leonario Leonora Wong. Mr. Chair, I, ha I, I was number one on the list, Mr. Chair. I think I should be given priority because I have not had another uh, hearing uh, uh, to uh, attend. Before I proceed, we proceed, uh, let me acknowledge the presence of Deputy Majority Leader Jeanette Elgarin, First District, Iloilo City, a uh, province. Uh, sige po, uh, Kong Johnny, then yes. after, after your interpolation, gusto ko lang balikan yung issue din yun. Ay, ko kay I'll just be brief, Mr. Chair. Mr. Specific. Chair, there are several issues in this inquiry. Number one, illegal land conversion. Number two, a normal in bridge project. Number three, misuse of public funds. Number four, collection of illegal fees. Number five, unjustified construction stoppage of NGCP. Now, during the last hearing, uh, many of the questions were directed with regards to the subject matter of illegal land conversion. I would like to focus uh, my questions on the two issues, which is in the bridge project in the misuse of public funds. Now, in 2019, uh, Mr. Chair, a project to construct a bridge in the amount of uh, 27 million pesos was awarded to Ping An Construction and Trading. Uh, by the former mayor, Leonario Leonora Wong. Now, however, in 2019, when Mayor Ponsalan um, took over, this contract allegedly was cancelled. Uh, this is the subject matter that I would like to be enlightened. And dito po ba, Mr. Chair, yung uh, representative ng Ping An Construction and Trading? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we invited uh, Ping An. Uh, it was uh, received, but uh, I think they did not send any representative today. How about Engineer Benigno Bonos? And dito we po ba, we, we also Bonos? In invited uh, 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 President, Mr. Uh, Bonos. Ano po ba ang posisyon ninyo, uh, Engineer Bonus? Kasi with regard to the subject matter, ang mga inimbitan na resource person, Engineer Bonus, Mr. Yabot, Mr. Malonso, Mr. Santos, Ms. De Leon, Mr. Naldi Lobo, Mr. Ruel Maniaco, Ms. Jacqueline Alfaro, and Mr. Alain Lee. Ngayon, uh, bakit po kayo naimbitan? Ano ba ang partisipasyon ninyo dito sa uh, itong kontrata ng uh, tulay? Uh, I'm Engineer Benigno Bonos, the back chairman of LG San Simon. Uh, ang participation po namin dito is to shed light on the issue of the bridge. Okay, Actually, tama. Correct. Uh, mabuti dito ka. Uh, I would like to, to direct my questions to you. Kailan mo ba nabiding itong, uh, itong first contract? Gagawin natin kasi dalawang contract ito eh. Kinancel yung una, tapos in award sa Viking. Yung sa first contract, kailan mo ba ito nabiding? Actually, the, the first uh, posting for, uh, on PILGEPS is February 14, 2019. And the bidding date is March 4, 2019. But during the date of March 4, 
nobody participated, no, everybody dropped their bid. So we, through our minutes of the meeting, we considered it as a failure of bidding. Okay, after the failure of the bidding, ano hong ginawa ninyo? Actually, uh, after that, we post again for in the PILGEPS uh, on July 11, 2019. And the bidding date is August 27, 2019. So, the uh, contractor uh, participated in the bidding. They dropped their bid form. Uh, so, about evaluation, we have the winner with the winning bidder, which is biking construction and trading de sandali um ang nakalagay dito ping an na construction and trading actually, yung original contractor actually uh, your honor we did not receive any uh, company profile nor the 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 ping an did not participate during the first bidding where that's why we consider it as a failure of bidding so no, nobody participated so even the Pingan, the uh, who is the allegedly contractor, did not participate during the bidding. So ibig nyo sabihin, wala talagang kontrata ang Pingan construction from the very beginning. Actually, we, we, uh, no contract because uh, uh, in our process in a bidding, we recommend from the hope, from the head of the procuring entity, the winning bidder. So we did not recommend uh ping and construction as the winning bidder since it's a failure of bidding nag participate yung ping and construction during the first bidding he did not participate in the first bidding we in did not second, receive any company in the second profile. bidding nag participate ba mr chair ang uh, ping an he did not participate in the first bidding why is there an allegation here that uh, there was a contract with ping and construction in san simon Actually, uh, before the, the expiration of the term of the late Mayor Wong, uh, she signed a contract to, uh, with the Ping An Construction. So, in our part, as, the, as a back chairman, we did not recommend from the hope as the winning bidder. Because as per our minutes of the meeting, there is a failure of bidding. Sandali, medyo magulo yun. How can she sign a contract, sabi ninyo, Mr. Chair, eh hindi naman nag-participate sa bidding. Bakit ngayon na uh, uh, pipirma ng contract si former uh, or the late Mayor Leonora Wong? When sabi ninyo, hindi naman nakaparticipate. So there is a discrepancy in these statements. No, ano uh, ba talagang totoo? Hindi, hindi po namin nakita yung uh, contract ni Mayor Wong. No? But the, the contractor, as, as per the invitation, uh, there is a signed contract to be cancelled in the first bidding. That's why I am testify, I am attesting that there is no uh, bidding during the date of March 4, 2019. Mr. Bonus, can you submit to this uh, committee the pertinent documents with regard to the bidding of this bridge? Yes, Your Honor, uh, I can para submit. Para makita po natin kung ano ba talaga ang uh, totoo because allegedly there was a contract signed but uh, sinasabi ninyo, wala naman. So, we have to verify first. At saka pwede rin pa, uh, aside from the minutes of uh, the bidding, can you also please submit the contract between San Simon and uh, itong Viking Construction. And may I request also the Comsec to invite during the next hearing, or we, maybe we can issue a subpoena to Ping An Construction, since probably this complaint came from Ping An Construction, is siya makaka-enlighten sa atin, because accordingly to Mr. Bonos, wala naman nang, hindi naman sila nag-participate, pero merong complaint dito. So dapat siya pumunta rito, Mr. Chair, uh, Comsec, uh, we issue a subpoena, niimbitahan naman natin itong Ping An. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, anyway, Congressman uh, Pimentel, the uh, Ping An was invited uh, in today's hearing. Uh, as uh, for the information of Comsec, na received daw yung invitation natin sa kanila. Pero walang explanation why they're not it's present. It's very today. important, so, Mr. Chair, maybe, the Ping An may, maybe we can so issue that a, then because... We can oh, issue a COCOS order for them. Or rather, this entity is the grieved uh, uh, construction company in this issue. 
So, kung wala silang interest, i-drop na natin ito. Because, uh, according to Mr. Bonus, they never participated. That is why I uh, focus on this subject matter. There are five issues. Para kung wala ng interest sila rito, eh di drop na natin to let us focus on the other issues. I don't know who is telling the truth, whether wrapping uh, and construction or uh, Mr. Bonus, uh, the back chairman. Because as per the records, there is no participation of ping and construction with regards to the bidding of the bridge project. However, in the inquiry, in the uh, request of a representative Ordanes, this is part of the issues concerned. Ngayon, ang tanong ko, itutuloy pa ba natin ito? ito? Hindi na. Kasi wala naman dito yung interested party. Anyway, uh, uh, just to give justice to that issue. As, uh, sir, uh, ilan ba kayo sa back the time? Actually, we are five members Pag of the back. Pag-isabit lang po yung, ano, yung list na uh, names ng mga members ng back para may patawag na rin po naman natin para on the next hearing, eh, tapusin na natin to. Okay? Your Honor, uh, the, the members of the back are already retired and the other one, the... The one who just my my order is just for you to submit. Ah yes, yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Yes, sir. Chair, I agree with you. Please sir, submit, submit all the pertinent documents, the minutes of the bidding, the invitation, the field jeps, including the awarding of the uh, in, in the contract itself, so that we could see whether ano ba talaga ang totoo nito. Now let me go since uh, uh, Ping and Construction is not here and she is the more more interested party. Now let me go to. The next ah, issue. Before, before, uh, before we proceed, kasi dalawang entity ditong interested party, the Viking and the Ping An. So they were invited, they were not present today. So we'll just, uh, Congressman Adjong. Mr. Chair, may I make a manifestation? Uh, anyway, before you proceed, uh, Congressman Adjong, eh, sira pa yung microphone mo. Yes, uh, Madam Jimmy. Uh, I would see. just like to give my opinion that, you know, um, I, I, this, this um, committee on public accountability is, um, I think the mandate is to, to inquire into the acts of specific government officials um i i would like to uh, make a manifestation that we should not be uh, harassing the private sector involved uh, in the last invest inquiry regarding the town of mexico the investor the chinese uh, the chinese businessman who was called here and who was given a all contempt, uh, I don't know, contempt uh, judgments and things like that. Well, his investor ran away already. In other words, the, the, in, his investor doesn't want to continue investing in uh, Mexico or even in the Philippines. And, uh, I mean, let's do what we have to do, send ombudsman things about the mayor, but please, let us avoid involving calling businessmen to hearings in this committee. Uh, thank you for the manifestation of uh, Don Robol, former President Arroyo. But anyway, ma'am, uh, uh, matter of Mexico, uh, we are now preparing for the committee report and I hope uh, you can have it and read it. Kasi, uh, uh, with regard to Ping Ang and Viking, we are, uh, ako, we have to invite them, ma'am, because they have to explain these circumstances with regards to uh, Ping Ang is claiming that uh, may bidding, may award. Ito naman yung biking, ito talagang binigyan ng award. So, you have just to get the, the bottom of it so that uh, uh, balik natin doon kay Mayor. If indeed, the process being made by the municipality of San Simon with regards to that issue is uh, proper or improper, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Chair, may yes, I again? Yes, We're talking here about a contract signed by Mayor Wong. Isn't it? She's dead. 
So what is the purpose of this particular issue? I, I, th- I, I, I find merit in the recommendation of Congressman Pintel that if Ping, uh, who was the complainant, I understand, did not come and is not interested, who is the prospective accused anyway that we will send the documents of the Ombudsman for? A mayor who has died already. So, uh, so she, uh, I mean, this is not a corporation. I mean, the, the issues are not corporate and civil. The issues are that, that to be sent to the ombudsman are criminal because it's supposed to be corruption. And uh, the issue dies with a prospective accused. The mayor is dead. So if, uh, if, if Congressman Pimentel will make a motion to drop this particular issue, I would second the motion oh. on the ground that the mayor is who wrote, who signed the call is dead. Yeah, but uh, Mr. Chair, the issue here uh, is that allegedly the first contract, which I believe is non-existent, according to Mr. Bonus, uh, there was another contract. So we are just trying to establish whether the mayor uh, uh, violated some. Uh, uh, provisions in Republic Act 9184. Yun lang po. It's not, we are not running after uh, Mr. Chair, the late mayor, but rather on Mayor Punsalan. If indeed there was a first contract and it was cancelled, and there was another contract that was awarded to uh, Viking, then there is a possible uh, uh, corruption that's made or an anomaly. That is what we're trying to establish here. Now, in this case, Mr. Chair, uh, at the moment, uh, as I've said, the interested part is not present. However, I have already requested for the documents to be submitted so we could study further the matter. So during the next hearing, if we have already submitted, pag-aaralan po natin.